guys, Aidan here. Welcome back to our match day vlog today. Hearts take on St Johnson at Tyne Castle Park. Now, before we get any further, I've made a preview video yesterday of my thoughts going into this game. So, if you've not seen that already, I'll leave a link up there. Go and watch it and let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get into today's action. St Johnson at home, Daniel Stendhal's first game. Interesting to see how it pans out. Let's get to Goggy, Mona Hearts. of the first half here at Tyne Castle. Nothing much has happened, not a few chances here and there, but overall, pretty poor in first 45. Half time here at Tyne Castle Park. Hearts nil, St Johnston nil. Not the best going at 45 of the season, I won't lie, however. We almost went behind after a nightmare from Bobby at the back. Almost let Saints Queen through on goal. He did make up for it, however, with a fantastic save. Big second half ahead, three points a must. Let's go ahead and get this done. One Hearts. Once more, get back your favourite Stein Castle and let's make some noise! Well, it's very cold and very wet. Absolutely nothing's happened in the second half. Sean Cruz has left the pitch. He's replaced by Uchi Ekpiatsu. Well, this is absolutely grim. I'm freezing cold, parts have been awful, and St Johnson are leading us 1 0. <sighs> this is not going to be a fun one. As you've just seen, the full time score at Tynecastle Park. Hearts now, St Johnston 1. Well, where did I start with that? It was a horrific performance from Hearts, and let's be honest, for the first 10 20 minutes, we were running about trying to press them. After that, 
what happened is we've resorted back to hoofball, the same old ways we've had for the last year or two years. Now, Stendhal cannot be put to blame. If anybody blames Stendhal, take a hike. He's only been in here for, what, three, four days, has to work with what he got. So, thankfully, I've not seen this, but if anybody's blaming Stendhal for that, come on, have a word, day. Eh? He can only work with the players he's been given, or inherited, should I say. I reckon we need a few new players in January that can really fit his system because, let's be honest, some of the players Hearts have right now are not suited to the system, so they're either they moved on, some of us take them off our hands, fair enough, but we do need reinforcements in January, in my opinion. Now, I'm not one to come on here and moan, but ugh, it's just, it was not, simply put, that performance from those players out in that pitch was not good enough. It needs to improve sharpness, to get wins, points in the board, get up this league table before things get even worse, as if they couldn't anyway. Thanks for watching today's match day vlog. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and a comment and tell me what you thought. Remember to like, comment, subscribe by clicking the red box down there and turn on post notifications by clicking the wee bell so you never miss a single video. Unfortunately, I can't make the Celtic game tomorrow night and I can't make Aki's away either, so I'll see you after that for another home game. Until then, cheers for watching and I'll see you for more very soon.